Yeah, you know, Isabel just made landfall. Barrel just made landfall within the last 10 minutes or so near Palacios, Texas. Uh, you can see here's the center circulation just offshore coming inland over the last 10 minutes or so. Here's Bay City. Here's Palacios. You get up towards the Houston area. This is for reference. This is where the bulk of the impacts are. Remember, center circulation is just that. That's the center, but the impacts are outbound from that. So there's a big slew of moisture on the northeast side quadrant of this, and that's where the impacts are. Heavy rain, outer bands coming in. We've We've even had tornado warnings near Galveston Bay, but center circulation, as I mentioned, just made landfall. You can see here's Texas. Now this thing's a slow mover, and that's the problem is this thing is producing some uh, copious amounts of rainfall. They're expecting rainfall amounts over 10 inches as this thing just kind of crawls along throughout Texas. There's your tornado warning south of Houston area. Just heavy rain bashing the Houston area right now. You saw that cam in Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi is actually on the side of it that's not really getting too much of an impact other than some showers and some wind. So right now still a category one made landfall with winds at 80. We've had gusts around 89 officially near the Palacios area. You can see gusts. 85 says our model there north at 12. That is the movement. This thing is crawling through Texas. So heavy rain and flooding is going to be a big problem, as Isabel mentioned. But as you look at the path of this, there's a frontal boundary coming in, and that frontal boundary is going to start to push this thing out towards the east. And as a result, it heads towards the Ohio Valley. So we're talking some impacts here. It happens every now and then. We'll get the remnants of a tropical system, and it looks to be the case here with barrels. So as we go through time, high clouds will increase starting tomorrow morning. We start to get some rain off of it. And you notice how the rain's not compact. We don't get this little circulation that comes through with an area of heavy rain, it kind of spreads out. But these are different downpours that we're expecting as we go on into Tuesday and Wednesday. They'll be of the tropical variety, so lots of moisture. That path of circulation still be to, to be determined. The heaviest rain on the GFS through Detroit, the heaviest rain on the Euro comes through here, so we could have some flooding with it. But either way, we're going to turn rainy around here, especially late tomorrow night and then into Wednesday.